Hello everyone, I am Burcu, PhD student from University of Bologna. Today I would like to share some interesting parts of my research with you. Currently I am working on dumber varnish removal from oil paintings through innovative green cleaning systems. Traditional cleaning methodology applied by restorers using organic solvents which may be toxic and cause some unwanted effects on painting layers such as swelling of organic binder present in painting layers and leaching of soluble components. As you may see from the photos here, some organic solvents on paintings cause these results. A nasal painting is composed of different layers which are support, ground layer, priming, paint layer, and the varnish. In this research, it is aimed to remove only the external tin layer, which could be discolored or old varnish, or unwanted conservation material applied during the restoration interventions, without affecting the paint layer underneath, which is also called selective removal. To do so, I use these electrospan mats are produced by electrospinning technique to achieve continuous fibers in nano-sized form. Electrospan tissues have some advantages, such as high surface area, high mechanical resistance, liquid permeability, and adjustable porosity. Now, let's have a look at them closely. Here it can be seen electrospan mats with different pore sizes, magnified by scanning electron microscopy analysis. And below, it's a setup for an electrospinning technique. There is a polymeric solution ejected through a spinneret under a high voltage electric field. Fibers are collected as a non-woven mesh or membranes on a collector plate that works as counter electrode. After producing these mats, I saturate them with green solvents, which could be gamma valerolactone, which is derived from linocellulosic biomass, or ethyl lactate is obtained by esterification of biolactic acid by fermentation of starch, or diethyl lactate obtainable from renewable sources and biodegradable, or dimethyl carbonate is not biobased but green and biodegrades readily in the atmosphere. After wetting the tissue with a grid solvent, it is replaced on a painting mock-up for cleaning purposes. In this way, solvent release is controlled by the tissues. After waiting uh, some minutes the tissue on the painting mock-up, the cleaning is finished and after that the efficiency of the cleaning is analyzed by micro ATR FTIR spectroscopy. To measure the cleaning efficiency on a mock-up applied by solvent and tissue combination, one of the techniques can be used is micro-FTR spectroscopy analysis. In this way, if we see the dumber peak on the spectra, it means the area is not cleaned well. Otherwise, it, as it can be seen also on the photo, if it's a very cleaned area, we don't see any presence of dumber peak, so it can be evaluated in this way. Thank you for all your attention. If you have some questions, please don't hesitate to contact me through this email. And please don't forget to like this video.